coach. Uh, in, in the third quarter, it was really when you seen the game, the momentum finally kind of swung your way. Talk about that run that you guys went on and just some of the key factors in that, that surge. Well, I mean, what was it? It was like nine to two to start the third quarter and then zero to 16 or whatever. And then we went on a run after that. Right. Um, you know, their run I thought was really impressive and we had the answer. Um, and I thought after the six minute mark of that quarter, we were, we were really dialed in. Um, you know, they forced us to play big some. I thought our double bigs played well together. And I thought, you know, obviously um, the lift that Jalen um, gave us scoring the ball off the bench. And, um, you know, we got a lot of good performances in those last 16 minutes. I thought Morris kind of kept us afloat there for a while at the end of the, end of the first half. Start of the third quarter, made some plays at the end of the third quarter, made some plays at the end of the game. I thought he dug deep because I thought he looked – he looked like he was a little bit tired in those first six minutes of the game coming off the, the trip. So, you know, that's really encouraging when you get a guy that's, you know, just going to dig dig deep and figure it out for you. And, Coach, you had talked to us before about just transition defense, and this would be one of the ultimate test for you guys as far as improving in that area. How do you think you guys fared in, in that, that area tonight? Uh, not so hot. Yeah, we need to get better at that. Um, they, they, and in the first half we were really bad. But I thought that some of our, you know, missing shots and um, turnovers add to that. But you know, this is this team really puts you on your heels. I mean, boxes, he's a load to guard and transition, and everybody else following suit. And then with their shooters, how they space the floor makes it very tough. Brett, uh, 126 points for you guys, despite. Only making nine threes. Just how encouraging is that for you in terms of, you know, you guys really attacking the basket? We only attacking the basket well. I mean, we made some mid range there late, but not many. Um, I thought our basket attacks were good for the most part, most of the game. And we needed it. Again, I think that's, you know, that's what Jalen, um, you know, Jalen and Gordon both coming off the bench can get to the line and give physical attacks to the basket. But, um, you know, Jalen did that in the first half at a high, high level. And then, you know, saw the ball go through the net at the rim and then made all those threes in the second. Brad, you just talked about Jalen, but can you talk more specifically about the energy he provides when he comes in and he's hitting his shots and, and doing that off the bench? Well, I think it's, it's um, he's done a good job of embracing that. Um, he's done a good job of not letting um, that affect his aggressiveness or his game. Um, and the other thing is, is when we bring him in and play him and take Smart out, he's, he can guard the guys Smart's been guarding. If we leave Smart in, um, we can move Smart to a, you know, to a ball handler and pressure a little bit more like we did there in the fourth quarter. Um, so those are, uh, those are good pairings. And, and Jalen's aggressiveness off the bench has been good all, you know, ever since he's gotten used to it. Brad, um, in this effort to find good habits and build good habits. Are you more encouraged by the result of this game or are you more discouraged by how they defended? Um, so I, I would have to go back and really look at it. You know, I was more discouraged after the Clippers game than I was after I watched the film. I thought they, they were lights out and we were not great, but we weren't as bad as I thought we were. Um, so I'd have to go back and watch, but my encouragement tonight comes from just kind of gutting it out and finding a way down 17, staying together, had every excuse to not play well tonight. And just, you know, that's more of what we have been, um, you know, fortunate enough to be used to. You mentioned the, you know, going to the double big lineup there, you know, third quarter, having some success there. Yeah. Obviously, even with fans getting the foul trouble. How encouraging was that just to see that him and Horford? Yeah, I mean, they put us in a, in a tough spot, and, and, and you know, I, it was interesting. I didn't know how they were going to play, but they went super big. I mean, they played Al Burks the one, and then, and then played Giles and, and Bagley together. So there, you could see that we were going to do that. I knew we were going to do that in the first half. Um, with Baines and foul trouble, it was a little bit harder to do, but I thought Robert Williams came in and gave us a few good minutes. And, um, you know, I thought Al went to a different level there for a couple of minutes, which was which was good too. Um, so they they forced our hand to that. Um, you know, sometimes that's a really effective lineup, and sometimes we have to guard the three point line and be small. It's just yeah. 
you know, depending on who they're playing to. Thank you.